Hello viewers, welcome back to an episode of Glory Hunter with me, Dr. Benji FM. Good to see you, I hope you find you very, very well. Before we get started, uh, thank you so much for the support of the series. We're very much deep into the series now. People finding this series, if, you're, if this is your first episode, hi, thank you for watching. Um, but yeah, the support of the series has been really, really great. Thank you so much for watching it still as we get into the latter stages of the series. Uh, thank you for dropping likes on the videos, of course, do that today. And uh, if you're not really subscribed, subscribe, Go, by all means, come on, yeah, give it a whirl. If you're at episode 194 and you've not subscribed, though i mean you're probably not gonna are you i feel like you made that decision around episode 30 you were like no i'll watch it but i'm not gonna commit and here you are 160 episodes later <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, now, brilliantly viewers, I have just recorded the intro to today's video before playing the game. So we're very much at match day already. I then realised that my microphone wasn't turned on and you would have, well, you've heard and seen nothing. But let me run you through what's happened since we last met then. The 2-0 victory against Nancy is what followed the angers in PSG disappointments, really. And then, ah, oh, it's very frustrating. Two draws, Monaco and Lil, uh, sorry, Leon, both have drawn against me nil-nil in the home games. That's the bit that really irks me the away game to Green Gamp two on defeat we are we're a joke sometimes viewers so I mean, these things happen um a 4-1 win over for over show though far better really look good to see uh we went 1-0 down and then changed to attacking and that's something I might look to do in the future uh the, the side has already been selected and we're playing balanced because we consider Lil to be a pretty even side to us um but of course going attacking maybe later on in the game or if we see that we're having a dominant spell in the game going attacking make the most of that possession that's going to be the way that we try and approach things uh, we currently sit seventh in in, uh, in Liga, not particularly good as we play the Friday night game today. Uh, you notice as well, Nice ahead of us. You're probably thinking, Ben, what's going on there, mate? You've left Nice. This shouldn't be going like this. I've felt the same. I checked their schedule. They've not played anyone really difficult yet, apart from Vafsi, and they lost that game. So they've got a very tough period coming up. This October, November, December period. We'll see how they're doing. Of course, they play us in the December, and that'll be tomorrow's episode. Um, yeah, they've had a really like decent start. They've also barely scored any goals because that is the Nice way, of course. I like the fact they've, they've stuck with that. Uh, their manager, by the way, for those that are wondering, is that man, who's very talented and a name which is difficult to say. George will go with that. Oh, that makes sense to me. And you will have seen, team-wise for this game then, uh, Mimi will start in goal. Goni, Fanga, Shouten and Anzagi will be at the back. We've changed from the defensive midfielder to the offensive midfielder. We talked about that at the start of the season, something we may well do. Uh, Dumas and Hafidi can definitely play in there, though. Not a problem. Uh, Lalerk one side with Santos the other with. Akiza coming in behind Roots. Um, as we change things up a little bit offensively to try and get a few more goals out of this side, it's something that we switched to last game. It went better. It went well, and hopefully we can uh, we can get the result required then from this game. As mentioned, we're already we're already there, viewers. You can see uh, playing off then against Lil. As yeah, it's nice to get this bit recorded and actually have it recorded. Otherwise, it was just silence, viewers. I, don't, I could have, I could have voiced it over, but it would have been very confusing. Could have not mentioned the fact I've screwed up, viewers. Could have seemed perfect at all times, but just for you to know that I'm not perfect all the time, viewers. I know that's what some of you will be thinking. You'll be going, "Oh bloody, how do we reach that un unattainable level of?" Stupidity, I know, I know. All right, then, here we go. Shouting, fit enough to last the full duration for the match is the question. Mm, I don't know. I'll be fine, boss. Don't you worry. Yeah, I'll, I'll be the judge, Shouting. I get to see the percentages. So, you don't get that in real football, do you? No. But if we, if we have to try and judge it by how slow the dots were moving, that would be tough. All right, first chance of the game. And I'm keeping a strong eye on possession because if we have more of it, I'm definitely going to go more attacking. I say try and use the most out of the possession that we've got. And in these early stages, because we play quite a slow and methodical way, we keep the ball very well. Of course, we've done it in a few games. We've got 84% possession right now. Early on in the game, I'm going to switch to it because we seem to be so dominant and go a little bit more attacking try and find those spaces we cycle it when it's not there that's pretty much what attacking says viewers so that's what we're going for as roots as well he's managed to get shot on in goal this is the sort of game against Lille away from home of course we've had two frustrating draws against the likes of Leon and Monaco this is the sort of game that is going to be very very tight I would imagine it might be a one goal game and I want to make sure that we are getting that first goal at least as <laughs> I shouldn't open my mouth I thought there was a chance we could have won it back. You know, we were, high, we were in their in their area as I started that sentence. Uh, in their area, in their half, as they've scored, and I feel like a fool, viewers. So, welcome back, everyone. Ball played through. Perez is on it. First time volley. It's a great finish, and I want to be sick. So we've gone attacking. We've immediately conceded. So all that possession, meaningless, viewers. Looks nice, doesn't it? Seventy six percent now. I mean, that's really great. It's really great being one nil down. 
It's brilliant. Of course, you go attacking in this sort of system, you do up the tempo considerably, and hopefully we'll find our way through. As the ball's not down to Hafidi now, who beats his man a little bit there. It was quite nice from him. Goes back to Dumas, he'll be dictating play from a slightly deeper area. We've given it away under ridiculous circumstances. No need to do it at all. They're in on goal. Don't make it two. Well, they've ignored me, viewers. They have made it two. Move to Marseille, man. It'll be fun. You know, it'll be really great. It'll be really, really fun. It'll be really great. Van der Meij on that side just goes past the defender like he doesn't even exist. Shot goes in. We are nowhere, viewers. We're nearly at half time, and this changing system that worked so well in the last game, not working well in this one. Show me something else in the second half. Anything, anything else. Right, we'll find the happy middle. We started balance. We went attacking. Neither seemed to have worked. So we'll go to positive and see if that brings a more positive result. Thing is, I'm looking at I'm looking at the average ratings of the boys. Right, six point seven, six point eight. No one's playing badly. So it's one of those games where I can't be too critical. Their strikers have been absolutely clinical. You look through the average ratings of their players. They're having a very similar game to us. The, the next game could be crucial here. The next game, the next goal could be crucial here. Sorry, viewers. Game goal. Both begin with G, don't they? Could have said granny. Could have said anything beginning with G. Goat. Uh, granulated sugar. I don't anything, viewers. Ball played in corner. Whipped in. Rooks is there and denied. We're already going to be eight points off Monaco at the top of the table. I guess a nil-nil against them when you consider where they are in the league isn't too bad. The narrow defeat to PSG isn't too bad. The draw to Leon, not too bad. It, it, oh, we've not even, we're doing nothing. The time has just disappeared. They're all not too bad results, but we have to be beating the likes of Green Gamp and we've not done that. Santos coming off, Diallo's going to come on, play more attacking, play further forward on that side. It's not been our day so far, viewers. I really need to get a t-shirt that says viewers on it. And it's not for you, it's for, for me. There's been, there's been so little action in the second half. I, I'm a bit shocked, to be honest. 67% of the ball, 68 is what we're going to finish with. It's full time. They've had what feels like two shots. Of our 16 shots on this game, two of them were considered long shots. We've dominated the ball. We've had 700 passes. Like, way double... I mean, so many more than them. I mean... I... 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 I, 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 nah. I spent 10 seconds there not saying any words. For you. There's two ways I look at that, right? The first of which is we're keeping the ball brilliantly. The second of which is we're not shooting enough on target. And the third of which is we're not playing badly. So... It's hard to change this. Sometimes it becomes like a very results-oriented business, football manager, and of course football as well. So you feel like because you're not winning, you have to change things. On another day, I feel like we beat them 4-0. Do you know? It's just one of those things. Obviously, today that's not happened. We play Reims next. I mean, we ha right. The experiment's going to be, viewers, change nothing and see what happens. We'll see how the results go over the weekend. Of course, they're not going to be good for us, I can't imagine. Of course, the, the, the objective is to still win the league, it doesn't look like it's happening this season. Um, but, of course, getting into the Champions League, that was the goal at the start of the season. It's still a goal that's reachable, but it's not going brilliantly so far. Three defeats already. It's quite a lot, it feels like, this early into the season. All right, Nice play PSG here as Mets face off against Nancy. We'll see what the results are. If Nice beat PSG here, then I'm going to be ill, viewers. I'm not going to be ill, but nil-nil. Another nil-nil. Lots of draws so far in the league. As, uh, as, as Nice do a pretty good job, to be fair, to hold PSG. We couldn't manage it. Now, Stad Drem have just been beaten 3-0 by, uh, by Leon. And that's the sort of thing we're hoping to do as well. We're the home side. As mentioned, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start attacking for the next game. But we're definitely going to consider the fact that we should be beating them. And in the way in which we play... <sighs> I don't know, maybe just a, a more clinical striker. A striker with better finishing than 11 might be the key. Pretty rare that you're going to see me do this, but I'm changing some of our training to focus more on what I actually want us to do. So we're going to work on attacking patience and chance creation. And hopefully that has some sort of say over what happens later this week. Probably the first time you've actually seen me do that in a video, viewers. I do it, I occasionally do do it off, off videos, but yeah, I figure like having what I've just seen and the way the season's going, it's something we should be focusing on more. We are playing sort of like a baseline vertical tiki-taka, and I've got, and it feels effective, but it needs to be effective with results, and that's what we're not having so far. Actual football manager discussion here, viewers. Welcome, welcome to a whole new me. All right, then, team. This is going to be unsurprising. I think we're going to stay exactly as we were for the last game. The one change you're going to make, uh, look, look on that left hand side. We're going to make an inside forward, just a preferred role for him. That's what we're going to do with Santos. Going to make him more attacking. So two little subtle changes on either side of the of the wing positions. Um, everything else in terms of shape and structure. It's not Diallo's going to start because he's a better finisher. And that's what we're going to go for here. I've got to believe in Diallo here because I've brought him in to be literally this, this sort of player for me to finish off chances when other strikers aren't doing it. 
Right, so in the last game, you didn't see enough of it. This has to be the moment. You see from Rems, they're playing basically our old system. So we'll see if we can counter that by being a little bit more creative. A team such as ours should be winning without any problems at all. Hopefully that doesn't encourage complacency. But um, here we go then. Second game of the episode. It already feels a bit must win before next episode against Nice as a free kick very early into the game. Goes all the way through. Fanga picks it up. Of course, our centre-back ordinarily plays it into Shelton. Ball played in. Diallo knocks it down. An early chance. And again, it'll be interesting to see... Playing attacking now, how our possession is affected by that. We're playing at a quicker tempo. We're going to have to take a few more risks here and there. We'll see how much it differs and if then the scoreline goes in our favour. That's going to be the big part about this, of course, as uh, Akiz is on it. Again, it'll be a really great way to shut teams down at some point as um, we see Reims counter-attack with a little bit of speed, a little bit of little bit of verve about them. Ball played into the back post and I'm going to go and... I'm going to go now, viewers. It's been really great, this series. Um, it's a shame that it has to end with defeat at home to Reims. This is really... This is a real shame as, um, yeah, it's been great. Thanks for the memories. See you soon. Uh, this way, is it? Yeah, so obviously I'm not going to go anywhere. I've got to stay on... I've got to stay. It's part of the part of the contract but um we've got no control over the game so we're coming off attacking we've got to, as i say that viewers we've got a corner we've scored so the, the game makes no sense to me viewers i've honestly i've lost the plot I don't, I don't know clearly i've got it all wrong all wrong ball played in from a corner it's akiza the man on hand to score it's a great volley the keeper doesn't even see it coming half an hour gone one one i don't know anymore as you get towards half time disbelief is the is the theme, viewers? Disbelief. Right, I've told them I'm disappointed in their defensive attributes, and I'm not too disappointed in the creative. I'm trying to get the creators to feel a little bit perkier. So far, it's been a very dull game. We're actually not even having the best of it. We need a second goal here to turn things around a little bit. Dumas is on it. He finds Leclerc, who's uh, got a very challenging name to say at speed, I realise now. Santos, though, forward on that right-hand side, goes Goni. And now, lots of options in the centre. Can he pick the right one? Diallo's there. It's surely in, is it? Is it in? It's surely in, it's in. I mean, it, it's... Three dimensions is going to tell us everything here, viewers. Leclerc has got the goal. It's it's strange. Diallo shot initially, and then I don't know, viewers. We'll, we'll see here, won't we? As uh, Goni puts the ball in. Great delivery, by the way. Diallo, it's a good first save, as the ball is just sort of... It's it's kicked against us, and it's gone in, and he's going to celebrate that so happily. It's crazy. The ball didn't go over the line there, although, where's the goal? It's, your guess is as good as mine. Regardless, 2-1 in the lead, we've bounced back, and everything I said about going attacking and how that would make us better has proven to be, well, not true in this game. I guess it matters game to change is game to game, viewers. What can I say? What can I say? As Nzagi's got it on this side, uh, Hafidi... The win is the most important thing, which is not something I've been sort of preaching for the first 15 minutes of this video. As it goes uh, across the left-hand side, I realise now this uh, I, I could be at the 15-minute point for you. We may not even be at the 15-minute point. I've been recording for hours, it feels like. It takes years off my life, this game, I'll tell you now. Shelton heads down, though, to Akiza. And again, back on the ball, possession. Like, playing this way now probably is going to be to our advantage because we've got the lead, as that's a great challenge, which is going to be given as a penalty, I assume. The referee, it's been a while, viewers. So penalty kick viewers of course it is because it always is he's now going to go and tell that player that he shouldn't have made that foul um, he's going to do so with the instruction of not even a card just walked over oh no he has booked him I believe it's a yellow card uh, we've got Hafidi pushing up to take the penalty he takes it he scores it's 3-1 it, it doesn't feel like I've done this but maybe the decision to go back to balance was was pivotal, viewers. Maybe I'm maybe I'm a genius. Maybe I'm a genius. Obviously not. Three one though. Half an hour to go. It's been second half wise. It's been pretty comfortable. Still, we're not playing brilliantly, and with twenty minutes to go, we'll make a couple of changes. Diallo's having a bit of a quiet one, so uh, by announce it's going to come on for him up front. We've got Santos having. An indifferent game. Can Roots play on that side as an inside forward viewers? Why not? Try try something new, Ben. Give it a whirl. As uh, yeah, you can see, 3-1. Three, three, it's, it's been comfortable. It's a game that we should be winning and are winning. And hopefully now we can carry on. Maybe a few more goals to add to the goal difference wouldn't go amiss. As, <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. What a thought that would be nice for you as well, wouldn't it? Just a few more goals to make things, com yeah, things comfortable. Alternatively, let them score again. Make it tense before the end of the game. Yeah, let's enjoy that. Let's do that for the video, shall we? Let's make it more interesting for the video. Stop this! 15 minutes to go. I'm staying on balanced. I've changed. I made some subs, viewers, which obviously, you know, is the that, that's where I went wrong. I actually changed things after things going pretty well. 88 minutes on the clock. Do not do this to me. We'll take the victory. We'll get out and we'll we'll be happy and celebrate together. I'm so chuffed, viewers. Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel annoyed about a 3-2 win? I'll tell you why. Because I thought I'd figured out 
what what had been going wrong, and now I realise I knew nothing. For years. Um, so that's great. Back to the drawing board. I feel like back to the drawing board. It's interesting. We still had like 566 passes, 150 less than in the game that we lost. Um, again, midfield and attack, keeping the ball brilliantly defensively. A little bit questionable, but maybe they need to be a bit more ball playing when they're on the ball. Um, in terms of chances had, 10 on target, uh, long shots only three in that one as well. So. It's looking better, and it was, and we were more clinical. That was literally the difference. We took the chances that were there for us, and the chance creation slightly improved, only just. We'll, we'll take it. I mean, one of the chances was the ball stop. I mean, I think about one of our goals viewers. Fortunate is the way I describe it. But there we are. That is going to wrap things up. Uh, I will now then play through November. Montpellier, Toulouse, Mets and Nims. I've got to be honest, that looks pretty tasty in terms of wins maybe incoming. Uh, nice though and Dijon. That's going to be the next couple of games for us in December. And of course, my former team then, how will they be doing uh, after a tough run of fixtures? We'll have to find out. Um, have we played two Fridays back to back there, by the way? We're the, we're the Friday team. I just want to see how uh how the top lot do it's very interesting because they're all above me right now them failing is really quite enjoyable for me do you like the fact we do this viewers just hold on to sort of the fixtures just so you get a better picture of what's of what's going on obviously it's because we're playing on fridays this has to be done so leon have won their game they are taking charge a little bit although the team's behind them the game in hand coming up in a moment we'll see how they do all right, then there's the run of fixtures. Uh, nice drop points, actually, away at Angus. You've got Paris Saint-Germain dropping points to Dijon, which is not good for them at all, as, uh, yeah, a lot of the other sides doing what you expect them to do. As say, Monaco win their game. Uh, you've got Vafsi winning again. They're having a really good time. Have they got any, like, superstar player? Who is this guy? I mean, yeah. He's quite good. Um, they're going to be a, a difficult team to beat this season, it feels like. Ruben de has got them playing some wonderful stuff. We then, after 11 games, 7th place, 18 points. Again, the next little run of fixtures we've got looks pretty kind. We'll definitely look at a minimum 9 points from that, and that could put us again right back in the mix, hopefully, for a few of these sides uh, meet each other. We need to be in Europe next year at an absolute minimum. The Champions League, though, that's where we need to be. 3rd place, that's the target, and we'll keep on aiming for it. If you've enjoyed today, viewers, I've mentioned at the start of the video, please do drop a like on it. If you're enjoying it, be, uh, be subscribed and I'll see you again soon for a whole lot more we love with care friends until next time goodbye started that very early didn't I? I went very early there like I was looking for someone hello hello consistency has anyone seen any consistency